grand jury. The case was thrown out. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. So, so I'm free to leave. You, you believe my story. Why, why are you just sitting there? Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. You're full of shit, Hugo. You want us to feel sorry for you? We feel sorry for your wife. The blood came from the wound in your wife's head. Why would I lie? You can check at the workshop. You don't want to catch the real guy. You just want to blame me. Are you going to tell me what I want to know? Or do we have to take it out of you in lumps? Give it your best shot. I can take whatever you're throwing. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. You're lying, Hugo. You're going to have to come clean on this. You got no proof. I want an attorney. I'm not answering any more questions unless I... I get an attorney. So someone mugged her and then took to her with their tire iron? Please, we... I don't want to think about it. You're going to die for this, Muller. Better give me something if I'm going to believe your story. My conscience is clear. You can't badger me into admitting anything. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. Your wife was strangled with a braided rope, which we found in the trunk of her car. I think you bought that rope specifically to strangle her. You can think whatever you want. But that rope has nothing to do with me. My wife is the victim here. But uh, so am I. What am I going to do without her? And you. You heartless bastard. Do you know anything about braided ropes? Some. Uh, they're mainly used for um, mooring lines, hawsers, you know, that kind of stuff. We don't have much use for them in the machine shop. We use chain hoists. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Either you start backing up what you're saying, or I'm going to walk out that door. What color are your overalls? Green. We all wear green. It's a company policy. It was you, Hugo. I'm offering you a chance to come clean on this. For the last time, I did not kill my wife. We're letting you go for now, Muller. Go home and see your daughter, and work on your story. It's got more holes than a batting cage. That's the guy, Detective 
That's him. That's the guy who parked the car. I'm sure of it. Hey, he's getting away. That's not true. I can't. I can't go to jail. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in clothes. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. I'm trying to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. the road, god damn it! No! You gotta get me closer! It ends here, Hugo. Once we get the janitor's statement, you'll be staring down a murder charge. Tram! Deuce X Mackinac. We got lucky, Rust. You and your goddamn... I have to say I'm disappointed. I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution, and you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. Do it again and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. Find street criminals, rouse them, beat them, and restore some fervor to your police work. Your next case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here! Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin them. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. You're lying, Hugo. You're gonna have to come clean on this. You got no proof. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I... I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? 
Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too. Hugo Muller, I'm charging you with the murder of your wife. You'll be arraigned and taken before a grand jury. Book him, Rusty. With pleasure. I have to say I'm disappointed. I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution, and you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. Do it again and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. Find street criminals, rouse them, beat them, and restore some fervor to your police work. Your next case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here!